of a fire a nation there shall be welling and gnashing of teeth because it, right now like 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 the like what what was described earlier there were fishers that are sent out we're the, we're the fishers that were sent out but after us there's going to be well after we fish that we're going to be turned into hunters and we're going to help the most high and the angels sever the wicked out of the earth but there's a time and a place for that I mean, there's a time and a place. Right now, it's a time to fish and gather up the elect. Next, it's, it's going to be time to kill and to destroy. And yes, we're going to kill white people. We're going to kill Edomites. That's right. And that's what it says in the Bible, because the Lord is going to the Lord is going to take out those that hurt the earth. He's going to destroy those that hurt the earth, and they're the ones that's hurting the earth. This is Daniel's chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time, Michael shall stand up, that great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. Right, even Michael, he's not going to come out, come down and just, you know, just start fucking shit up. Because the angels are told to hold back the wind. And they, they didn't just say, oh, you know, just, just start uh, fucking shit up just uh, before the prophecies even get fulfilled. That's right. Keep going. It says, and there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt right and, so, oh, well, so, oh, yeah, keep going, verse 4 I'm um, 3 and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever but thou O daniel shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased yeah, right so the scoffers are going to be delivered in that day put it put it like this you know the uh it's it, the uh, michael is going to fight for you know israel he's not fighting for other nations you know, because uh, all these other uh, nations that put us in slavery, according to uh, I believe Psalms 82 and 6, Most High, you know, it, uh, all those nations going into slavery. Uh, uh, the Most High is coming. Oh, uh, go ahead. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the cities, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city, and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, and little children. Oh, it's like, uh, both maids and little children, and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. Hey, and it says begin at my sanctuary. So so when the Lord comes back, according to uh, 1 Peter 4 and 17, he's gonna begin destroying his people first, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Then he's gonna bring judgment upon all of the other nations because every nation had a part in, in, in the, uh, the, the captivity of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It wasn't just a so-called white man that had us in slavery at one point. All of these nations had us in slavery at one point. But it's just that the, the so-called white man's slavery was the most cruelest out of all of the uh, out of all the captivities we've been in. You know? So what, what does the Bible say? In Re Revelation 13 and 10, it says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. So, so, so guess what? Who, who are the saints? When you read Psalms 148, it says it says that Israel is his saints. It doesn't say that that all of the rest of the nations are his saints. So, if the patience and the faith of the saints is is for those that put them in captivity to be put in captivity, and those that killed them with the sword must uh, uh, to be killed with the sword, well, why do people still think that the Lord came to save everybody? Why do, why do the so-called white man think he's ha he has salvation with, with, the, with the children of the Lord? 
Why does why does the the Arabs or the or the um or, or the the Africans think that they have salvation with the with the children of the Lord? They're not saints. The saints are the Israelites. We're we're the saints. Hey, come and check this out. Who was waiting for the uh the coming Messiah at that time? Were other nations waiting for you know uh man? I can't wait till the Messiah comes back. You know so we can be grafted in. No. Matter of fact, uh, they wanted to kill. Exactly. They, they didn't, they, if, if they thought that you know the Messiah was coming to save them, why would they try to kill him? The, the Messiah. Can you uh, get uh, can you get that? Uh, can you get uh, Matthew one twenty two? I got you. Oh, is that one you were thinking yeah, about? Yeah, that's getting? what I was thinking. Right, because the, 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 if if the uh, if if if, if, if so-called Jesus Christ. The, the so-called white person that you call Jesus Christ came, coming to save everybody. Why were the only people that were anticipating his arrival was Israel? That that makes no sense. God, because he was prophesied to come to Israel. When you read, in all throughout the Old Testament, it prophesied the coming of the Messiah. But one of my particular favorites is Micah the fifth chapter. You know, which all, which says that he shall come out of Bethlehem. You know? But this is Matthews 1 and 22. It's, it says now, outside of 21, it says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of, of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is the Most High with us. Kind of, uh, and let, let me get this in uh, Matthew because you know that, that that just goes to show that the Most High, you know, sent His Son to save His people for, from their sins. It is safe from everybody. And this is uh, uh, Matthew chapter two, verse one. And when Yahweh who is uh, the real name for the, uh, the person you call Jesus Christ, was born in Bethlehem, Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold. There came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Hey, can I can I grab a precept real fast? Uh, can I take this? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, it's pertaining to that. And this is Micah five and two. But thou Bethlehem Ephrathah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall come forth unto me that is to be ruler of Israel God. whose going forth hath been from an, from uh, uh, from of old for everlasting therefore will he give them up until the time that she which travaileth have brought forth then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel oh the remnant of his brethren wait 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 did, did it say the remnant of the other nations Remember of his brother is that that's referred to the, uh, the northern tribe that was cast off because they were going off. That's what that's talking about. He came to save those because they were cast off. They were looked upon as heathens. God. As as well as any other people that was from the same tribe of him that became that made themselves Gentiles by following the customs of the other nation. You know? Oh uh, no. Alright, this is uh Matthew chapter uh two. And now when uh, Yahweh was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. So wait. If right, he was an Edomite, so he wasn't of Israel. So if if he came, if, if so-called Jesus Christ came to save everybody, why was he troubled? Why would you be troubled about somebody that's coming to save you? That's right. That makes no sense. Verse four. And when he had uh, gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where uh, Messiah should be born. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea. So he went to Israelites to ask them, uh, according to your prophecy, where is this? Uh, where is he supposed to be born at? Where is this, your Messiah supposed to be born at? And so they're, they're telling him, verse five. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, and thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not, are not the least among the princes of Judah. 
for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently that what time the star appeared. Verse 8. And, and, and it, it, it says what time the star appeared because it, the Most High would sometimes give us a, wish that was a cherry. So the Most High would give us signs in heaven, you know, to, to, to help us identify the time. Just like when you go to Matthew's the 24th chapter, or is that Matthew's 24 that speaks about the blood moons? You know, the Most High would give us signs in heaven. And he, he, he appeared into it was what, a pillar by day, and a, a cloud by day, and a pillar by night? When we were when we were coming out of Egypt, so so that was that was actually a, that was a chariot that was appearing in the heavens. So what time did the star appear? God, I'm about to uh, skip up to uh, verse Matthew chapter two verse uh, thirteen. Matter of fact, verse twelve. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way because here I was basically saying oh uh where where's uh your messiah I want to come and worship him he was a uh, lion lion yeah. uh because uh, according to the scripture that they, they, they come out speaking live verse 13 and when they were departed behold the angel of Yahweh appeared to Joseph in a dream saying arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt also which proves that our messiah is black because why would you go and hide amongst the uh, black people if you're white so that just proves, first of all, that he's black, and also it proves that they, uh, Herod wanted to kill him. So if they were anticipating the Messiah who's coming to save everybody, why would they want to kill him? Now don't get it twisted, you did have wicked Israelites that wanted to kill, you know, uh, the Messiah. You did have that, but you did but you had, uh, don't, they, they were basically bought out. They, they were uh, bought out by the, uh, your governors, you know, uh, your Caesars and stuff like that. You know, because they, they knew. They knew it. They knew about it. And some of them, they believed. But they just, they were so fucking carnal that they were, that just shows how much our people are willing to sell out. God. Hey, and uh, a lot of them were ignorant too, though. God, because yeah. because you had the Pharisees, they were set up and they, they, were, they were supposed to be in Moses' place. And what did, what did Moses, uh, what, did, what did the Most High tell him to Moses? I believe that's uh, number 6 and 24. It says, And you shall put my name upon the children of Israel. What comes with the name of the Most High Heavenly Father? His, his word. So they were supposed to be set up, warning the people, and, and, and uh, keeping, them, keeping them aware of, of what times they're in. Like uh, an example that, that uh, some of the people were, were ignorant. Were, it, it's, this is uh, St. John 7 in, in uh, 41. Well, I'll start at 40. It says, Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said of a truth, this is a prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But some said, shall Christ come out of Galilee? Galilee. If the Pharisees were, were set up and warned the people the way that they were supposed to, then, then the people would have been, been aware of Micah, the fifth chapter, knowing that he would come out of, out of uh, Bethlehem. But they said, he come out of, uh, shall Christ come out of Galilee? Because all they know is that uh, the, the Messiah, after he, he his father took him into Egypt, when he came back, they didn't, they didn't dwell in Bethlehem. Because Herod actually built up a, a he built up a, a place for him to live upon the hill because he was watching for that prophecy to unfold for, for the Messiah to be born in Bethlehem so that he could slay him as soon as he was he was uh, he was born. So they went and they dwelt in, in Nazareth. This is verse 42. It says, Half the scripture said that, that uh, Yahweh Shai cometh of the seed of David and out of the time of Bethlehem where David was. So if, if the Pharisees were set up and doing what they were supposed to do, the people would have been, they would have been aware. And uh, can, can I have one more? Hey, this is Daniel 9, 9 and, uh, this is Daniel 9 and 20, 24. Because this scripture right here gives you an estimated time of when the Messiah will come. So this is Daniel 9 and 24. It says 70 weeks are determined upon the people and upon the holy city to finish the transgressions and to make an end of sin and to make a reconciliation for iniquity. 
which that that time to make reconciliation consolation for iniquity that happened during the time of John the Baptist. You know, because John the Baptist was out in the wilderness and he was uh, he was crying to the people. He was telling them to be ba uh, to ba be baptized and repent. It says, and to bring in everlasting.